Wait, you still don't think Stacy's capable of this? Oh, no, you convinced me she's crazy, but the timing's wrong. What do you mean? Well, when Stacy was getting operated on, Cutter and I were in Europe, planning our long con on Joey Buchanan. We were holed up in a hotel room practicing our parts. He was with me the whole time. Maybe Stacy was his plan B. I, we, we didn't even know that you were Buchanan yet. Yeah, there's no way Cutter would have targeted me yet. So maybe Stacy planned this all on her own. She came down here to get the surgery and then ran into Cutter at the right place at the right time. But why would she cut him in? Well, I mean, that's Stacy too. I mean, she could do some damage alone, but she loved her little partners in crime, especially. Oh, man! Who? Oh. Wait, wait, I don't get it. Is, is, is the doctor worried about money? Or... No, no. Then why won't he operate? Stacy, I like you. I haven't had feelings for another woman like this since Aubrey. I mean, you have this, this effect on me. It's, it, it's good. You make me want to do the right thing, which, believe me, is rare. He's worried about your health. Health? What? What are you talking about? He's operated on me before. Right. Yeah, but look, that, that was before, the basement. You know, I, I guess there's complications because, you know, you were unconscious for so long and it was carbon monoxide, so it's too risky to put you under for anesthesia. Sorry, I'm afraid it's a no-go, kid. So I'm just stuck with this face forever. I never get to go back to my real life. I kind of picked on Shane last year. Kind of picked on him? I was a jerk. Just a stupid freshman trying to be cool. It's cool to be mean to your peers? Yeah, I... I guess it is, sometimes. Doesn't sound so cool. No, it sucks. But that's how it is. I don't think that's something I want to do. No, it's it's not. And I wish I had known that before things had gotten so out of hand. What do you mean? How did things get out of hand? This is unreal. Why are your papers all soggy? We were in the steam room at the gym. Stop! Seriously? No, no, it wasn't pretty. This guy walks in in a towel. The subpoenas were hidden. What? Where? We didn't look. This just gets more and more repulsive. Well, it's so Rick. This can't be legal. I know, dude, we, we didn't even touch him. That doesn't matter. How could it not? Tell them, Danny. Happened on Star's property. So what does Rick expect to get from us anyway? Punitive damages for pain and suffering. Look at page five. Oh, my God. <gasps> no way. I will make him suffer for that much money. No, what we need is a real lawyer. Sorry, no offense, Danny. No, hey, I was just telling you guys what I learned from my mom. Wait, exactly. Your mom is the best lawyer in town. Can't you just get this thrown out of court or something? I, no, I don't think so. Why not? There's no way I can ask my mom about this. Especially right now. You know who killed my husband and you haven't told us yet? It wasn't in your best interest. The hell okay, it wasn't. Taya, you hey, tell us right on. now. Tell you. Tell me I charge you with obstruction of justice. There's no need for threats. Do you think you would have found me if I were not ready to talk? All right, let's have it, Claude. You killed Victor. My friend Tomas saw an opportunity. No. Tomas killed Victor Lowe. So my mom spent the whole night going through the house looking for well, anything that might clear my uncle Tomas. Do you think he killed your uncle Victor? No, he couldn't. I mean, my mom doesn't believe it, but the cops think that it could be true, so she's treating it like a case, you know? She's down at the police station right now. How is she feeling? I don't really know. I mean, she's not sleeping, which can't be good when you're pregnant. Danny, you have to force her to. You think I haven't tried? I know your mom is stubborn, just like you are. And I know, which is why I'm doing everything I can think of to make her life easier. All right, so we'll leave your mom out of this. Thank you. Okay, you know what? This is our problem. We'll deal with it ourselves. How? By giving Rick millions of dollars? No, he doesn't even want all of that. Remember what he said at the hospital? About pretending what it says in those tabloids is true? Wait, that you and Nate are hooking up? He's trying to force us into doing that. But it's not gonna work. 
We're not gonna give Rick what he really wants. Hell no, we're not. We are not pretending like you and Star are hooking up. Right? Can I help you? Um, I could use a chicken salad sandwich. It'd be great. Some iced tea, maybe. Lemon. You are lying! I would now never do that! Victor gone, but not dead! He didn't want to be blamed for Victor's death, but he was certain Victor was a threat as long as he was alive. I'm sorry I must say these things to you. All right, Claude, walk me through it. Thomas and I were at the docks. We saw Todd Manning arrive. We watched him give his gun to the homeless man. This was the opportunity Thomas could not pass up. A gun that would never be traced back to him. He uh, acquired the gun from the man on the docks and left for Victor's home. This can't be true. Thomas swore to me that he would find the real killer. What better way to control the investigation? Why did he keep the gun? I'm sure he planned to use it to frame someone else. Oh, you mean like Todd? Because it was Todd's gun. We didn't discuss that. No, this, this, this is not true. Thomas did not lie. I can always tell when he lies to me. Madame, your brother is a professional liar. It is what we do. OK, so where is Tomas now? I don't know. He must have felt you closing in. He never wanted to leave his family. He wanted to start a life with you. But you're saying he's, he's long gone. You won't find him. Well, says you, of course, I can hold you here until you tell me. I can swear or not, I do not know where Thomas is. I only know his skills. That's how I know he's gone. If you haven't found him by now, you won't. I've heard that one before. Well, I'm going to need a full statement. Of course. Thomas is a good man. He only wished to protect his family. Why well, you need a gun to do that? His choices were influenced by the will of others. This is not true. I'm sorry, madame. Taya was really shaken up. She thought that something was wrong with the baby. Which you knew, I'm guessing. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. Right. Anyway, I'm sorry about the flowers. Sean, giving the flowers to Teo was really sweet. You don't have to apologize for that. And you don't have to get me flowers either. Couples not seeing eye to eye is something that happens all the time. It's just that we've been really lucky for a while. Yeah, most couples don't start hurling pies at each other. <laughs> no, they don't, but those couples sound really boring. Mm -hmm. Listen, I just need you to understand where I'm coming from. I mean, you know how rough it was for me growing up with my parents. Constant fighting. And my not wanting to get married to you doesn't mean I love you any less, but I need you to be comfortable with that. Can't you be? Of course, it's the first person she would have gone to. I should have known. Who? Kim Andrews. Kim? <sighs> Did Joey tell you about her? She married Clint for his cash, except David Vickers got her to run off before she could collect. Kim and Stacey are friends from way back. That's the first person she would have gone to. How did she get to Cutter? I know how. <sighs> yeah? You know that Cutter and I posed as brother and sister? Aubrey Wentworth is Cutter's real sister's name. What does that have to do with Kim? Kim Andrews is Aubrey Wentworth. She's Cutter's sister. Hey, hey, there's no reason for you to look any different. Are you kidding me? How can I ever face Rex like this? He'll never forgive me. He, he wouldn't love anyway, Stacy. All right? So you just need to forget it. And if you leave Rex alone, he'll forget it too. I, I feel... I just feel so bad about what I did. You didn't mean to. Yes, I did. I'm a horrible person. No, no, you're not horrible. I don't care who you used to be. I like you the way you are. Maybe... You can start to like you, too. The stuff that happened, not all of it was on purpose. It just got way out of hand. That's what you said. Maybe you don't get how that can happen. But what exactly did you do? I was a jerk. But it's a new year. A new me.
How do I know it's the new year? Because last year I would have skipped this class. I better find my next class too. Yeah. See ya. Hey. Were you waiting for me? Yeah. I'm not like stalking you. I just wanted to hear what Jack said about my mom. He didn't say anything. Well, did he deny it? I never asked him. We didn't get that far. Are you gonna ask him? I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. You think Jack's innocent? Uh, I think you want to get back for him for how he treated you. No. I saw the look on your face. What look? When I was telling you about Jack and my mom, you looked like you knew something. You do, don't you? <laughs>